good afternoon, and welcome. Today I'm building a prop fire extinguisher, so if you see any fires around, please, let me know. Uh... Materials for this prop include three 3 liter bottles, a Windex nozzle, black, red, and silver spray paint, a paper towel roll, a hot glue gun, carpet tape, electrical tape, duct tape, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and Velcro. Remove the label from all three plastic bottles. Use the X-Acto blade and scissors to cut away the bottom of one bottle, the top of the second bottle, and both the top and bottom of the third bottle. For the last bottle, cut it down the center so you have a sheet of plastic instead of a cylinder. Cut off the excess tubing of the Windex nozzle. And now it's time to move outside. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the two primary bottle pieces red. Paint the middle sheet black and paint the Windex nozzle silver. Back inside, place the bottom bottle piece into the top bottle piece. You may have to pinch it slightly to make it fit. Line the edge of the black middle sheet with carpet tape, which is double-sided adhesive, and wrap it around the tube. Be sure to cover up the seam where the other two bottles meet. Use the electrical tape to fill in the gap on the tube, if there is one. Hot glue the Windex nozzle to the top of the soda bottle. You can use a bit of duct tape to strengthen it further. Cut the paper towel roll lengthwise and roll it to the diameter you want for your fire extinguisher hose. Secure it at both ends with duct tape. This will be your pattern or template. Wind a roll of duct tape down the length of the tube with the adhesive side outward. Now take the electrical tape and wind it over the duct tape with the adhesive inward. Pull the duct tape and the electrical tape off the paper towel roll, and you've got a fire extinguisher hose. You may need to repeat this process a couple times to get the length you want, and tape them together. Use the hot glue to attach the tube to the Windex nozzle. Use the Velcro to attach the hose to the side of the extinguisher. And there's your finished fire extinguisher. So, in conclusion, in the event of a real fire, please have a real fire extinguisher. See you next time! Peter, do something! <laughs> oh, fix it in post. <laughs>